Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a first impressions on my Gucci Mon bag. I've had so many requests to do this, so many of you seem really interested in it, so I'm going to be sharing my initial thoughts on it. I've had this since Christmas, so obviously not a huge amount of time, but I have worn it pretty regularly since. It's been a go-to for me, and I've really been enjoying it, but I do have some general thoughts about the functionality and how it's faring, so I'm going to be sharing those. I'm also going to be showing you what can fit in the bag, and also sharing some thoughts on whether I think it's going to hold its value, whether I think it's trendy versus classic and all that kind of stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy this and I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I'm just going to show you around the bag a little bit first and it's a pretty simple flat bag. It's made out of lambskin leather I believe and mine is in the size small so you can also get it in a size smaller which is called the mini and you can also get it in one size larger which is called the medium but I don't believe they actually have a large or at least I don't know what that looks like so I'm not quite sure why they've chosen those naming conventions but this is termed the small and this is comparable to a medium size Chanel bag. Uh, in fact I might try and get one to compare parrot. So this is the medium Chanel flap and this is a seasonal one but it is in the same size as the classic and you can tell they are very very similar indeed. Um, maybe the Chanel flap is a little bit taller but they are very comparable in size. So it's a pretty easy going size and there aren't any pockets or anything on the back. You do just have the really cute heart symbol on the back and you have this kind of chevron quilting all over and then on the bottom it's completely plain so the quilting doesn't follow through it's just a plain bottom. And then you have the strap with the leather bit right there. And then you just open it up with a little push of this clasp right here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that, but just push up and then that undoes the clasp. And then inside, it's actually really roomy and the leather is a lot more flexible than the Chanel flap. And so you can fit quite a lot in here and that's both a benefit and a negative, I think, depending on what your preference is and how you like your bags. But you can fit a very, very good amount in here. It really is quite roomy and then you do just have the one pocket there. I think it is... I want to say microfiber lining. I will check that and put details down below. Um, it feels like microfiber. I don't think it's suede, but it's a nice interior. It doesn't seem to get that dirty either, even though it's quite light. And yeah, that is what it looks like. It has obviously the Gucci sign right there. And that's it. It's a pretty simple in terms of design. As a functionality, I really like this bag and what I really love about it is the fact that it's very, very light. So it's a lot lighter than other similar bags of its style. I'm thinking again of the Chanel Classic Flap. There are many bags that look like this which have the Classic Flap design, uh, but for me this is very light and I love that because it also means I can wear a crossbody. I'm not usually a fan of crossbody because I find that heavier bags can be very uncomfortable crossbody for me. It really digs into my shoulder and especially when you load it with stuff, it's just not fun to carry. This, however, is very light, so it makes it a very, very comfortable bag to wear, whether you wear it on the shoulder, you know, looped over, crossbody, it doesn't really matter. It's a very comfortable bag and that's also helped by the fact that you do have this leather bit on the chain as well. So I love the fact that it is lightweight. However, that does does go the other way as well because it being lightweight it isn't as sturdy and structured as other similar bags and I have had a lot of questions about comparing it to a Chanel flap. I don't necessarily think that's such a fair comparison because Chanel flaps cost at least three times as much as this so this retails for £1,210. I don't know how much it is in the US off the top of my head but I will leave pricing details and everything down below as well as dimensions as well. Um, but to compare something that costs three times the of money to a Gucci flap I feel like is a little bit unfair to the Gucci flap so they are a very different type of bag and I would never really compare them in that way because when you're buying a Chanel flap it's really such a serious purchase and it's not the same as buying what is a much trendier Gucci bag and it doesn't require the same amount of investment it doesn't require the same amount of thought as a result and so I don't consider them the same or even in the same league however I do understand why people compare them because obviously the look is quite similar um, so you will definitely feel a quality difference if you do own other Chanel bags or at least familiar with them you will absolutely see that there is a difference between this and the Chanel flap and this feels a lot more lightweight but some might also say it feels a lot flimsier so you know you can definitely squish that in whereas if I was going to do that even with something that's you know quite a bit older like this flap 
it's less easy to do it's just got a much more solid base you can feel it it's a lot sturdier in construction whereas the Gucci is I don't really want to say the word flimsy because I feel like that's doing it a disservice but it's definitely more malleable and I can see how this could lose its shape with time obviously it hasn't for me but then I've also had it a month so not necessarily the best test but it's lightweight but not quite as sturdy and structured as something like a Chanel flap on that theme, my number one bugbear with this bag is the fact that the clasp isn't particularly easy to use with the structure of the bag. So as I mentioned, it just kind of clasps like so, so to close it you have to kind of push it in and then fasten it like so. But because the structure of the bag is quite soft, you have to push down in order to get that to happen. So I'm going to try and show you what I mean. In order to get it to close I have to push down and what happens is the bag flattens and then if I do that it'll fasten and then it'll come back up but with repeated use I can imagine that this bag will get flatter and flatter I don't mind doing it so much when I have it absolutely full of stuff but if it's not full of stuff I'm very aware that I'm essentially squishing down the bag <laughs> so I don't necessarily think that that was such a good design decision by Gucci because I don't really want my bag to look flat I want it to look like this forever and so it's definitely something Thing I am aware of. I have seen the larger version, so the medium size, and those already, even new, look a lot flatter to me, and I can see those looking very flat with time. So I imagine the small size, which is what this is, will be less prone to that, but at the same time, I think it's definitely something to watch out for and be wary of if you don't like that really flat look. As for chipping on the clasp, I've had questions about that as well. I haven't experienced any chipping at all, so I don't know if I'm just lucky, but I see absolutely nothing wrong with my clasp. I can't imagine that it would chip easily, although obviously it has happened to some people, so if that happens to you, then I would certainly say take it back to Gucci. Um, but I have had no issues on either the clasp, um, not the clasp, the kind of Gucci symbol, or on the chain everything looks absolutely fine to me the chain I think is a very nice quality you know it's not super heavy but it's not really plasticky or lightweight feeling either so I think the chain is pretty much perfect uh, as I mentioned the only kind of quality issue I would have is if it flattens the time which I think it probably would so if you are considering this bag I would probably recommend stuffing it I've certainly started to do that when it's not in use and I'm hoping that's going to enable it to keep its shape for a bit longer I'm going to be inserting some shots of me modeling the bag now and I show every which way you can wear it. There are only three ways, but I show all three. And I wear this bag every single way, so I wear it just on the shoulder like so. I wear it with the chain longer. And then I also wear it cross body as well. And I enjoy wearing it all three ways. And I think this is the only bag I can say that's true of. Usually I have one preferred way to wear a bag and that's it. But I enjoy wearing this bag every single way. My favorite is probably cross body because as I mentioned, I find it very comfortable and I just love the look of it cross body. It does sit a little bit higher than I would usually like, uh, especially higher than you would usually get on a made for cross body bag, but I don't think it's so high that you wouldn't be able to wear it. I certainly find the Chanel medium flats way too high for me to wear comfortably, whereas this I think sits at a really nice point. So I love wearing it every way and I do think it's very versatile in that it can be dressed up, it can be dressed down, it goes with pretty much everything and I've really been enjoying teaming it with outfits and I've worn it like very very dressy and I've worn it very very casual and it just seems to go between the two very easily so I have been loving styling it I think it's an absolutely gorgeous bag and I've been really pleased with it so far so I've packed the bag completely full and I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly what I was able to fit in here so as you can see, there's quite a bit of stuff in here. I definitely could fit a few more things if I wanted to. It's pretty easy to maneuver around and so I could squeeze in a little bit more if I wanted to. I fit in some sunglasses, some perfume, a lipstick, a compact, a card holder, my key holder, another card holder, my iPhone 6, and my passport holder as well, which is pretty chunky. And so as you see, quite a bit fits in here. If I wanted to use a really large wallet like my Insight wallet, 
and absolutely could as well. It fits in nicely and there is still a fair bit of room as well. So if I didn't want to change out of my large wallet, I could still use it. But if I wanted to go ahead and use the smaller wallet, I could fit in a lot more stuff. And then finally, I'm going to be discussing whether I think this is a classic bag or a trendy bag and whether I think it's going to retain its value. So I think most people who are really into bags will probably agree with me, but if you don't, then let me know in the comment section below. But I think this is a trendy bag. I don't think it's going to be around in 10 or 20 years time. But at the same time, I think that very few bags do fit that bill. I think Chanel and Hermes are pretty much the only brands that really withstand the test of time. And even then, it's only very, very select models. The vast majority of bags I would consider trendy bags and as I mentioned not many are still around in 10 years time. That said it is a very classic looking bag. I think in terms of trendy bags this is on the slightly more classic side so I think another example of that would be the Chloe Drew bag. That's been around for many years now and pretty much all of Chloe's bags I would consider to be quite trendy. You know they're very popular with it girls if that's a term that's used anymore but you've seen them a lot on Instagram and social media but the Chloe Drew is a bag that has been re-released every single season. It's still going really strong. It's still very popular and I think it's very classic looking. I think that this could go that way. I'm not a predictor of the future so I don't know but I certainly like the classic look of it. I like the fact that it is a chain bag. I'm obviously a really big fan of this kind of style anyway. I think it's a really nice example of what it is. I also think that Gucci priced this really well. I think the fact that it's closer to the £1,000 mark than the £2,000 mark or above really does it a lot of favours. If it was closer to £2,000 I'm not sure I would have bought it but for £1,200 I thought it was a really good buy. I thought it was decent quality for the price and I really like the look of it and I like the functionality as well. So I think Gucci nailed it with their price points for this line of bags. You can also go for the mini which is a little bit cheaper and they also do the really beautiful camera bags as well. So there is a lot to choose from. It's not all super crazy Chanel price expensive which is great. It's nice to have some cheaper options albeit these obviously aren't super cheap bags but I think they really did well with the prices. I don't think it's going to hold its value like a Chanel flap was but as I mentioned nothing but a Chanel flap or maybe a Birkin or a Kelly does that anyway and I also think there's an element of you need to just buy what you like and I think it's great to take into consideration buying bags that you know are investment bags and going to see you through many many years and I certainly wouldn't recommend if you were saving for a Chanel flap abandoning that and going for this. I don't consider them to be the same thing you know Chanel flap is a very different kind of purchase to this in my opinion but if you were never going to buy a Chanel flap and you just wanted something which kind of had a similar look, it was you know quite versatile and a little bit trendy then I think this is a great option uh, but yeah as I mentioned don't abandon your Chanel flap savings if that's something you are going for but if you're just looking for a really great looking bag which is really functional and looks the part then I think this is a great choice. So that's it for this video you guys I hope that you enjoyed it let me know if you have any questions about the bag I will try my best to answer them and if you enjoyed the video please do give it a thumbs up. As always thank you so much for watching I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.